one man's trash is another man's treasure. I think that that's definitely the lesson you can get out of the relationship between the Jerma and Sanji and the correlation in relation to Luffy. Now, for starters, I want to say I apologize, people. I know I've been slacking, but we're back at it with One Piece. Going to be talking about the last three chapters, 897 through 899, leading up, of course, because the big 900 is about to drop. And man, oh man, honestly, I, I think it's unanimous at this point. Nobody can disagree that when it comes to after the time skip, Whole Cake Island arc is by far, by far the best of One Piece, or at the very least of the, you know, time skip stuff, you know, obviously pre-time skip, there was a lot of amazing stuff, but when it comes to the time skip, definitely One Piece has really been shining with Whole Cake and this Big Mom stuff, because it's been insane, let's talk, because I want to focus in on a lot of the stuff that was mainly happening in these past three chapters with the Jerma, I gotta say, well, one, Beiju, <laughs> aka Reiju, you know, uh, Sanji's sister, absolutely, it was so amazing to see her sticking up for her brother all these years, she was the first one to really help him get away from the situation he was in and whatnot, and really was caring, but unfortunately, it was one of those situations where, hey, everyone's bullying him, if I stick up, I'm gonna be in the same situation, she was a little girl, you gotta understand those things, you know, a little kid is not gonna wanna be bullied too, so she never did, now, the fact that she's able to help out Sanji, do things out in the open, and it was a beautiful moment seeing some of his siblings going in and even judge it was a little bit wonky but i guess at the same time it's supposed to show the development and the change because they're doing this mainly out of respect at this point and i don't even think it's necessarily like on judge part anyway for sanji because you got to think one of the things that he said was you know he just flat out was dog walking sanji's name again he was like straw hat why is it that you went all this way for this guy why you know what i'm saying he's soft he only want to cook like why are you putting yourself out in that regard and well one is like bro judge stop it stop it before sanji kicks you in your face again cut it out cut the shenanigans already bro you already cried and and begged and everything like stop it judge cut it out the shenanigans need to quit okay it was wild to hear you know judge saying all this stuff bro you was just crying earlier on in this arc like what, what how you how dare you disrespect sanji but on top of that the beautiful thing of it all and i loved it very in luffy character and all around great great stuff was when luffy said yo this guy's weird why is he mentioning your best qualities that was insanely deeper than most people will think a lot of people are gonna laugh and say oh <laughs> typical luffy but that truly goes into what i started this video with saying one man's trash is another man's treasure judge looks at sanji as like yo you're a failure bro you just cooking like yo you soft dog like this and that luffy's like yo i love that he can cook I love that he's, you know, well, I was going to say that he's soft, but then that'd be a whole different uh, manga. So we're going to pause that one right there. But the point being is that Luffy appreciates Sanji for the same things and the same reason why Judge despises him and doesn't look at him as one of his true offspring, so to speak. So definitely a really complex situation there that I love was at face value, just a joke. <laughs> Luffy never catches things, but beneath the surface, definitely a lot more complex than, you know, meets the eye. Now, honestly, just seeing the Jerma in general, it's cool that they're getting their moment. I think this was definitely all building and leading up to it. Oda had this plan for sure of kind of not necessarily redemption because even still, again, look, Judge is, you know, talking crap. And I don't think the brothers really care for Sanji like that, like that. Even though putting in work, I guarantee you Sanji would get all of them. Sanji could probably take all of them. I mean, look what happened with Judge. Judge had to cheat and get, you know, the bodies in front of him to protect them and shit like that. Like, on a one-on-one, -on -one, I think Sanji could get all of them. But with the brothers, it was like, okay, you know, they were kind of just staying in character. They weren't being mean to Sanji. They were just kind of helping out. And it's like whatever they want to be mean that's fine and dandy but it was just interesting to see them but at the same time it's awkward with reiju it's fine because we know she's wanted to help out sanji for years she loves her brother she cares for him she's almost similar to sanji like you know it's crazy that they constantly and even judge himself says like yo sanji is a failure he's weak he cares too much and shit like that but reiju is almost the same way and i wouldn't be surprised if the brothers they did it similar to reiju maybe they didn't necessarily have the heart to feel bad for him because they went to the extreme and they bullied and picked on him and everything thing and they were really heartless but maybe even the brothers to some degree were feeling the same way maybe judge's whole experiment is all bs maybe the same way reiju wanted to help sanji and didn't because she didn't want to get bullied maybe one of the other brothers not necessarily wanted to help him but didn't particularly care to be involved in it they just went along with it because i don't want to be the outcast either so it could be something along the lines of that and then judge is going to be like 
well am i a failure as a whole and overall just seeing that judge and all of them are doing this again off respect of what luffy has tried to do and what he's trying to do right now it's interesting it's a decent turnaround i, I won't say it's the greatest in the world because again i'm looking at the german like y'all some irredeemable pieces of garbage even towards the end towards the end we have this giant woman chasing us down and judge is still running his mouth after he was just crying like bro judge knock it off again with the shenanigans now let's talk a little bit since we brought her up big mom the whole central focal point of everything she is absolutely at an all-time craziness yo she don't care if you're her son she don't care if you're sticking your head off her butthole right now you're going you're gone she's gonna do you dr seuss ya so to speak because big mom is just completely lost it at this point i think because remember we're leading into 900 the very next chapter which it could be tomorrow whenever it comes out is going to be 900 maybe we could see the defeat of big mom because if, if big mom is at this much of a fragile state there's either two ways it could be one last big sort of not explosion in the literal sense but like one last big explosive power rage or it could be where she's so weak that if luffy just had enough energy to give her the hands one time gear forth to the face maybe luffy will win and, and knock her out 900 900 is going to be a big deal we got a lot of things going on i'm looking at that oven because like you know of course luffy finally got out of the mirror he already of course defeated katakuri came through with peckhams and shit like that but it's like oven bro what wait what do you think you're doing like i honestly i want to see oven get the works i want somebody to put their hands on oven because oven is acting real tough but it was interesting and nice to see all of the charlotte family like if there's one thing i can definitely wholeheartedly heartedly say with no questions asked is that this arc has truly non-stop showed danger and that's what we were supposed to get going up against a yonko especially big mom she's nuts you know what i'm saying so the fact that with every turning page even you see another one of the charlotte family is like get him you know snack everybody just attack it really gives you this level of danger that every time we think we're out of the water we're in the clear you know we finally defeated katakuri oh there's oven and them waiting outside oh we're finally getting away oh there's more people it really shows this is no joke this is not no bullshit she didn't become a yonko for no reason this crew is not on the level that they're at for no reason because it's like i don't get a chance to breathe which is what makes this arc even more intense and interesting than a lot of the previous arcs is that it never stops big mom is hunting them down and at this point she don't even know what she's hunting down anymore this cake is so vital to stopping this woman that i don't even think it's going to be the cake at this point i think possibly she'll be around luffy at some given point she's going to make her way back around them and he's going to probably punch her in the face with the cake knocking her out big news luffy just knocked out a yonko what do you think that's going to do for his reputation in the world of one piece at that point big mom probably won't even be able to show her face if her loss is losing all of her weight and a cake being punched into her face that would be insane honestly so definitely interesting turn of events there what's going on with peckhams and the whole transformation i'm digging it i think it's cool and i don't want to poke on old stuff and completely trail off but i gotta say when we got into dress rolls and we got introduced to the tontadas the tontadas were like that group of that arc this group is the minx and honestly the minx are way more enjoyable to watch way more interesting and the transformations and all of that are way more exciting than when we had the tontada so when we come from tontadas to this i'm like yo the minx for the win peckham's for the win poor pedro they still better leave him dead bro J pedro better stay with jiraiya i know i'm trailing off now but i'm just saying like they, they better stop it but there's no indication that he's coming back and everything so far has been moving very smoothly honestly these past few chapters there's some people that are arguing oh friendship this and that stop it cut it out like at the end of the day big mom is still roaming free at the end of the day she could still kill anyone at any given point there's no friendship going on you know what i'm saying like the luffy versus katakuri the way luffy defeated katakuri yeah you could argue it would have been nice if it was just a straight up one-on-one -on -one, no bs or whatever but just like they were cheating against luffy got a curry you know he, he stabbed himself and stuff like that so i'm not gonna give the friendship bs to that either and honestly it's just been really really solid and exciting a breath of fresh air like i think in new world so far again i gotta say this arc completely blows all of the other ones out the water punk hazard not a chance Fishman island get out of here and then of course speaking of Fishman island let's quickly talk about wadasume and the fishman showing up as well i think that was brilliant you notice oda once again the mastermind which i know 
there gotta be more people because there's too many plot lines that reach and bear fruit to great things. Even the small plot line of Jimbe leaving the fishman, you know, he's like, I'm calling it, you know, I'm gonna rock with Straw Hat now. I promised him, let's do it. And them coming back to see him off and seeing the big monster looking motherfucker from Fishman Island. Great callback, great thing, and a great addition of why Jimbe is awesome to the team. A lot of people were hoping that he would have been like the martyr, so to speak, because it would have allowed more danger. But Jimbe being a part of this, or whatever, yo, we got the C at our back. Luffy needs everything he could possibly have because if you're looking at it right now, if he can't take out Big Mom right now, how is he going to eventually one day overthrow the government, stop everybody, and become the Pirate King and get One Piece? It's not gonna happen. He needs everything. Yo, he got the C with him. Overall, these past few chapters of One Piece have been pretty damn awesome. Nothing too major as far as plot progression, but the things that we have had so far, Luffy finally getting out of the fight with Kata Curry, Big Mom still on the attack, and all of the elements with the Jerma. The Jerma have really rocked in the past few chapters, and again, that's just been Oda tying up what he started in the beginning of this arc with Sanji's relationship with the Jerma, and once again, I gotta say, one man's trash, another man's treasure. Absolutely brilliant the way Oda played that off between Luffy and Judge, but I'm kind of curious what you guys think. What do you think about these past few chapters? How do you think 900 is gonna go down? Do you think Luffy's gonna finally, you know, run into Big Mom again and knock her out because she's gonna be so weak from being hungry and being on this rampage? What do you think is gonna happen? Big predictions. Chapter 900. What's gonna go down? But that is all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, stalk my Facebook, and follow me on Twitch, streaming almost every night. To get more when the video ends, I'm Fanab World, and as always, people have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule: anime and manga for life, boy. Bow. Have an awesome day. Sometimes I'd be riding your face and hit like Genjutsu in place. That's how it be though. Nothing but great ever just to get a C though. Eyes watching, but we never seem to be though. Even when stakes are high, we never seem to meet yo. It's always please yo, never satisfied though. What the fuck I gotta do to get by though? No matter how much I seem to fucking try though. At times I really wanna motherfucking die.